So you're moving here to the Dayton area and you're thinking about moving to Springboro and you're wondering what the cost of living is here. Well, my team and I put together the fine points that you're going to need to know about the cost of living in the Springboro area. And as a bonus to you, we actually took the overall cost of living here compared to the rest of the United States so that you can have an idea of what you're going to be bringing to the table. So stay tuned to the end. What's up everybody? This is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group right here in the Dayton, Ohio area. If this is your first time to our channel, we do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to know about our area. As a military veteran of 14 years, now military spouse, I've moved a lot. And every time that I move somewhere, I always notice that there was just a big lack of information about the surrounding area. So you never knew what to expect and where to live. Well, that's why we came up with this channel for you so that you'll know everything that you need to know. So if we don't have it already, make sure to contact us. We'll be happy to get that information out to you and create another video. In the meantime, make sure to hit that subscribe button, click that little bell so that you're notified every single time we got a new video coming out. Honestly, we get tons of phone calls, emails, text every single day about people coming to our area and we absolutely love it. So if you are thinking about moving to our area, again, you can call, text, email, send us a little paper airplane, whatever you need to do, we got your back when moving here to the Dayton area. So let's talk about Springboro and the cost of living. First things first, I wanna start with why people like moving to Springboro. Well, first thing would be the proximity to stuff, all right? Uh, Springboro is located on the south side uh, of Dayton. It's about 23 minutes to the downtown Dayton, about 45 minutes north of Cincinnati. So everything is kind of centrally located. As far as Springboro, just north of it, you have Austin Landing, which is a new, newer development that's out there. That's full of great restaurants, shopping. Uh, if you're an aviation enthusiast, you also have the Dayton Wright Brothers Airport that's there. So if you like to fly or thinking about doing that, or you want to go check out the museum that's there, then uh, that's definitely a great place for you to go. Now. Other reasons people are here is because it's a vibrant community. People are very friendly and welcoming to new neighbors. It's a very safe neighborhood as well. And the schools in the area are rated A or A plus, depending on which website that you look at. It's got lots of parks, hiking trails. It's also connected to the uh, biking trail that's out in Dayton, which is like 300 something miles. Uh, so really, really lots of stuff to do. Great community. Um, all that. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about housing since you know this is a real estate channel. Let's jump into that first. Let's talk about the housing there. You're going to see the housing in this area. It's going to be a little bit newer. A lot of these houses are sitting on bigger lots. Uh, they're medium to large size houses. What that means is it's a three to four bedroom, two plus bath. Uh, so those are the things that you can anticipate when trying to find houses in this area. So that being said, your average price for a house out here is going to be around $221,000. And if you're going to rent, you're going to be renting one of those houses. So that's going to be around $1,122. Now, only about 18% of the populace actually does rent in Springboro. So most people do own just keep that in your mind, which is good because they uh, typically take care of those properties a lot more and have a lot of pride before it. All right, so we're going to talk about the index of cost of living in Springboro. As much as I would love to give you numbers, uh, it just changes all the time. So this index is a, a baseline of 100. So across the continental United States, 100 being what everybody, the average person is paying across the way. So what we're going to do is take a number of index either above or below that index to give you an indication of what that would be for cost of living for you in Springboro. So let's get into it. We got the uh, food and groceries is about 102.9 on that scale of 100. So it's a little bit higher. But I want to let you know that most of these uh, grocery stores and things like that have been renovated. They're newer. So you're going you're gonna to pay a premium, but you may also get a higher quality of food as well. 
Housing, like we just mentioned before, is actually at uh, 117.6 on that scale of 100, so it's a little bit more up there across the national average. Know in the state of Ohio that the average home price is around 156 uh, K, so 156,000. So obviously it's a little bit higher than that. Your utilities, well, this one's lower. So this one's only at uh, 99.3. Now it's not that much lower, but we'll take what we can get. So that's going to encompass your uh, electrical and your, you know, your utilities for water and heating, all that stuff. Uh, so that's where your utilities are going to be. Transportation, that includes gas prices, things that uh, your maintenance for your car, things of that nature. It's actually only at 83.8. That's great. So transportation is going to be a little bit more affordable. Of course, that also encompasses public transportation as well. All right, let's talk about healthcare. Now, healthcare around the Dayton area is pretty much the same across the board at an 88.3% uh, of that 100. So it's definitely more affordable than across the board in the United States. They've got some great hospitals, emergency care units all around this area. It's actually really good for uh, if you're looking to get into any sort of education for the medical field. There's lots of uh, facilities out there as well. And we have a miscellaneous category, and that's with, that's going to cover more your clothing, your restaurants, repairs, entertainment, stuff like that. Uh, that's going to be at uh, an index level of 106, so that's a little bit higher than the national average. But no, because of the surrounding places, you're going to see a lot of the newer type looking complexes and because it's a little bit more newer and, and kept up and you're a little bit more of an affluent community that you're going to pay a premium for that. So what that means overall? Well overall Springboro is 102.5 on the national average scale of 100. So it's a little bit higher but given the area that you're in and given the little bit more affluent feel bigger houses, being around stuff. Uh, people that do live here says it's absolutely worth it. So that's all that we have for you for the cost of living for Springboro here in Ohio. If you have any other questions or maybe there's something that you'd love to tell us about Springboro, please leave them in the comments below. We love hearing from you. And of course, if you are thinking about moving to Springboro or any of the surrounding areas of Dayton, feel free to contact myself and my team. Uh, you can again call, text, email, whatever you need to do, and we'll, we'll make sure to have your back when you are moving here. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click that little bell to make sure that you're notified every single time that we got a new video coming out. So again, I'm Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group here at eXp Realty here in Dayton, and we'll see you in our next video. Take care.